channel. If you're new here, my name is Heidi and I do all types of videos. I do skits, vlogs, advice videos and gaming. So I'm sure there'll be something that you'll like. Today, we are in a bit of a different position. We're outside in my lovely garden. It is a very sunny day. It's very windy. I decided to do this on the windiest day, not by choice. Doesn't matter, hopefully it'll turn out. And I have my little puppy here, Pebbles here. I don't know if you can see her on the shot, but she's gracing us with her presence. As you know, with the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about all different books that I have read growing up and specifically Christian books. Um, so they all have a Christian influence or written by Christian authors. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it. I thought it would be best to start off this video with some books that kind of started off my love for reading. Up until this point, I never really read very much. And when I got these books, I loved them. I connected with the characters. And I, after that, have been the biggest bookworm you have ever seen. So this series is Rachel Yoda. It's about an Amish girl who gets into a lot of trouble. The first book starts off when Rachel Yoda is nine years old and she is very mischievous. She brings frogs into church, she goes on buggy rides. This is a very good series. There are so many, there's schools out, back to school, out of control and new beginnings. And then I'm sure there's a volume one of this as well, but I also then have volume two of this, which is her as well later on after these four books. Looking at the cover of this book, I remember we have book week in Australia and one, one year I dressed up as Rachel Yoda and I even had a little doll that I had and yeah, my mum, she's so good at sewing and she actually sewed me a dress, an apron and I forgot what it's called, a cap, I sewed the cap for me. And yeah, that was super fun. The funny thing is about Rachel Yoda is that I loved the series so much that when I got to the last chapter, I didn't want it to end. So I waited like, I don't know, it was like two months to a year maybe, I can't quite remember, before finishing the chapter because you just get so connected to it and connected to the people. But when I finally got back to reading it, I had no idea what was going on in the story and yeah it was just like yeah okay and then it was over but um yeah it was very entertaining there were many times where i was like very apprehensive like oh my goodness what's gonna happen and worried for rachel yoda and i and even times where i cried for her as well yeah i'm one of those people that cry when i read books i'm sure there's some other people like that too comment down below if you cry when reading books to me, when I read, it's like I'm watching a movie. So I'm really seeing the characters there and I just get so attached to them and it sometimes can be so sad when something heartbreaking happens in their life. My second suggestion is by the same author, Wanda E. Brunstetter, as Rachel Yoda. And this follows a set of twins, Maddie and Mark Miller. And once again, I love this. I love Wanda E. Brunstetter because she makes it really relatable, her books, and you can learn a lot from these characters whilst having fun along the way. So that's my second suggestion. Next is the series Teddy Joe. Now this one, we got given to us, so we don't have all of them, and I don't know why, but we have number one, four, six, nine, ten, and 13 in the series. But I'm sure this one looks a little bit older, but you might be able to find it in your local library. It started off with this girl, Teddy Joe, her parents splitting up, and um, yeah, that whole experience there, and it really, for me, I could relate to it because my own parents split up, and that was, you know, obviously a big thing in my life. So it was nice to see how this girl reacted to it in her books. Also, this girl, Teddy Jo, she didn't start off as a Christian, but her grandfather was, and he was able to have a really good influence on her. And she kind of saw the benefits of having life with Christ. Yeah, there's tons of books and a lot, a lot of stuff happened in them. You never get bored with it. There's The Terrible Secret, The Strangers in the Pink House, The Wild Dog, The Kidnapped Heir, The Great Dive, and The Missing Portrait. So there's so many different adventures that you can go on with Teddy Joe. Next up, I have these Pops Gang Diaries. So this one is for boys and girls. So if there's a boy watching or if you have any brothers that may want to read these, these are also some really good ones. Obviously, I got the girls ones and these were really funny. It was like a different style of writing, which I thought was really interesting because it has like pictures and stuff in it. 
and that made it really like entertaining to read and it felt like I was reading someone's diary. I loved um, Josie's Jazzy Journal, I think the most out of the two because Josie, she was in a drama club and so I love acting and drama stuff so I feel like I really related to her in that way. But yeah, it, it actually like goes through some pretty tough topics in the sense that it talks about how to pray for people who don't want to know anything about God and like, yeah, I think that's something that all Christians should know about and if you can start like thinking about that from a young age, then that can be really helpful. And then there's Sarah's Secret Scribblings. This was an awesome book as well. Yeah, and once again, bringing in that kind of godly perspective of different things that are happening in life, if people are annoying you, how you can pray for those people. What you doing, baby? My cute little puppy. And then the final book that I have for the kind of 10 to 16, 10 to 14 kind of category is Mandy. Now, I'm sure you would have heard of this one because it's very popular. Their books are so interesting. Each book, this is for uh, five in one, and each one she goes in this amazing adventure and it's so, so captivating. The series starts off on a really sad note, but it's really sweet how she can go to the karaoke friend of her father's and he comforts her and and then she discovers a secret tunnel which reveals the history of her family so that starts off the whole series and it's pretty amazing there's also i think two movies made out of mandy as well so you can also check that out there are tons of volumes we have three of them um there but there's 11 volumes in this series and i to me they're quite thick um yeah i started off kind of later kind of reading this so when i i stopped at volume three and to me that was enough i was satisfied it just kind of got to a point where i wanted to try something and read something else it smells good for the 16 upward category it can be a little bit younger but for me personally um for some of these books i feel like yeah it's like it's not a hard read in terms of vocabulary but in terms of the content i feel like it's something that you know, you might as well just wait and put off if it's not something that relates to your life at that point, if that makes sense. I can explain it a bit more um, with this first book, Christy Miller. It starts off pretty intense, you know, going straight into the thick of, I guess, the world in the sense that, you know, it starts off her going to a party and, um, you know, being innocent or oblivious to kind of like the drugs and alcohol stuff that may be at that, this party. She kind of, you know, is very shocked with that and then there's um, also pregnancy happening not with the main character but a sub character in the book so I don't know she is 14 in it but for me personally I started reading it when I was 16 years old and I think that was a good place to start at the same time it's good to read stuff like this because it teaches you before you get into it maybe sometimes you know to be aware of these things and whenever I read books, I really take it at a literal sense and I try and learn as much as I can from each of the characters, whether it be from a Christian author or non-Christian author. I just think there's something you can learn from every story and every character. That aside, I think Christy Miller is such a good book. It's so sweet. She's such a sweet character. This book starts off with Christy Miller going to California for the holidays and meeting Todd and some other um, of his Christian friends and just kind of seeing what they're like and you know the different type of uh, relationship they have with God which was very interesting to read. This series has lots of volumes as well and it goes through her having relationships with guys and struggling with you know going too far even just in kissing or holding hands you know figuring out that type of physical part of the relationship as well from a godly perspective and not in the sense that she gets everything right but when she gets things wrong knowing that she can go back to her parents she can get forgiveness and that she can move on from it and she doesn't have to stay in those mistakes that she's made so this is the one that i'm reading now it's christy and todd the college years so it's the same series the same girl but later on yeah and I'm I love this one as well especially right now um, with COVID happening you know being isolated it was so nice because the, the first book in the college years volume she is in uh, Europe and she's studying in Switzerland and so they're traveling all around Europe and it's so nice because I felt like I was actually there with them and so that was really nice if you want to have a nice getaway type of book the second book in this volume she's back in California where she is studying figuring out who she wants to be with and settle down with 
and what life would look like being married. And that's a big thing and I think, you know, going into adult years, that's something that you will have to face. So if you can have kind of like a friend to help you through it and have some experience that you've kind of read about, then I think that is very helpful. So my next Christian book suggestion is the Above the Line series. This is by Karen Kingsbury. And I think this is such a good series. She has lots and lots of books and it's with the Baxters and they, I believe, have other series, which I haven't read yet, but I definitely want to get into those. But this one I found really interesting because I want to go into acting. This book centered around kind of like the acting business. There's several different characters in, the, in this book. It goes, jumps from those different characters' lives and then they still intertwine together. Um, but there is some producers and they are trying to make a Christian movie. And so it's all around what that looks like and what it's like being in the world as a Christian artist or producer or actor. Then there's two girls, Bailey Flanagan, I think it's Andy Anderson, I'll put it up on the screen if I got it wrong. They are in college and they're starting out studying, they're signing up for theatre at their college and getting a small part in this big time film and I found it so interesting to be able to read about that. As these books went on they went deeper and deeper and honestly I cried so so much over these books. It was so heartbreaking, especially book three. And I, you know, even on the cover, there's a girl crying on it. And But I think it's so important what they're talking about. Um, people struggling, making mistakes, and feeling that sense of like losing hope and that there's like no hope to get out of this situation that you're in. But I think it's such a good reminder that no matter what, you can get out of it. You can just ask people for help. Then I think if you are gonna read these, then I don't wanna spoil anything too big but um, yeah I think this is definitely a good series not even if you're not choosing to go into the acting industry it's still very entertaining to read about and inspiring as well and this girl Bailey Flanagan she talks to this guy he's out in the world very much so and she's just there not judging him just being a light that Jesus calls us to be and it's so interesting to read how she kind of goes about spreading you know the her beliefs and not in a forceful way, because I think so many Christians can come across being forceful, and that's not what we really want to do. We want to come as a friend. So I thought that was really good how Karen Kingsbury kind of showed how to do that, and in such an entertaining way as well. Then we have The Princess by Laurie Wick. This one got given to us as well, um, and this one was so interesting. It's such an interesting read. It's set in the 19, I believe, 1980s? Yeah, in the 1988 thing, it follows this girl, Shelby. She has such an air of grace that so many people around her notice. But also the people that notice it are king and queen of the house of Markham. And they're seeking a new wife for their son, Prince Nikolai. He's recently been widowed, but he has to remarry according to their country's law. So Shelby and Nikolai agree to an arranged marriage and they're having to tackle going to a marriage pretty much as strangers. Nikolai is a perfect gentleman. He's going out with public greetings and everything, but when they come home, they're strangers to each other. So it's so interesting to read this book to see how they come together and even come together through their faith because both of them are Christian and that is, I guess, the thing that kind of like bonds them together. So that one is a really interesting book. So I hope you enjoyed my book suggestions. I love talking about them. I have so many different books that I love reading. Even books that, you know, may not be Christian. I have tons of suggestions as well. So if you want one of those videos, I can definitely put one of those out as well if you'd like to see it. If you have any book suggestions for me, please put them in the comments below because I'd love to read them. Always good to have some new books to read and some new authors as well because it's always good to add to your collection. So yeah, that's all for my video. If you'd like to see more from me, Feel free to give it a like or subscribe if you'd like to. I guess I'll catch you later. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye.